Welcome, welcome to start. Okay, this is Caesar three, and how you start? You pick your, you pick your um, governor's name, and so I'm doing C Sparkle. Okay, you enter your name. Welcome, welcome to C Sparkle's corner. This is C Sparkle sharing game time with you. Continue. Yeah. Okay. First, it says. Off. Right. Okay, it says, first you build a new governor. You're a new governor and your village is born. Level one is population 150. Immediate goal to build some houses. Okay, let your governor training begin. First, you must learn the basics of constructing Rome settlements. Build your housing, and you'll soon see people moving in. Past, you can click and drag the mouse to the length of the past at once. This is level one. Playing past carefully with new intersections, and be playing past carefully with new intersections as possible to ensure people will walk where you want them to go. At every intersection, worker, walkers must choose which way they want to go. Each intersection lessens your control over the routes. Okay, let's go to the city. Let's begin our governor training begin. Okay. Now, up here, right where I'm pointing to, this is your whole map. This is to visit advisors. It's not available yet. This is to... Go to the Empire map. That's not available yet. This rotates your map, see? And this rotates your map the other way. Okay? This reorients your view due north. Okay? This is when you want to hit and you can review your assignment. If you want to go back to see what you're supposed to be doing. Okay, these are your houses. This is clearing land. This is building roads. This is water-related structures. Okay, let's go up here to game one, okay? We're going to start by clearing out a sector. I'm going to start by clearing a big sector. Okay. All right. And now we're going to go to the options sound display i'm gonna i've turned everything off so i don't get in any trouble with youtube at all just for this video okay now this is your display settings this i'm gonna cancel it. i'm not gonna change it this is your sound speed settings is that game speed is 60 percent scroll speed is 80 percent the scroll makes you move it. You gotta have both the speed and the scroll on. Okay? This is your file. This is your new game. You can replay your map if you get in trouble and want to play it again. This is you can load your previous game. This is to save your game. This is to delete the game you're in. And this is to exit game. Okay. Now we got that kind of out of the way. We're gonna continue on with the clearing. Okay, I'm thinking of the future, okay? Now I'm going to build the roads, okay? All right, so I'm going to build from up here down. Okay? Now I want to make... I'm going to do some more clearing. Okay. Got it. All right. Now I'm going to build some more roads. In the game in the future, when you get further along in the game, you're going to have gods and goddesses. You're going to have centurials. you got to grow food, all kinds of that, and there's going to be war and conflicts. If you make a mistake on your roads, you can always go back to it. All right, now I want to clear this out because this was a boo-boo. And I'm going to clear right here. 
and then I'm going to go back to my roads. Okay. Okay, now let's. We're going to pick up, build housing. I'm going to build one, two, three, four across. I need to make sure there's room to grow on the housing. And so we're going to go like this. Oops. Yep. Okay. Now let's do that. Okay. Now we're going to go four to the top. One, two, three. One more. Four to the top. Okay. All right, we're going to do this. Okay. We're going to go all the way up here. Okay. Okay. If we go much wider than this, there's not going to be a road. Okay, now we want to make sure these people have water. So we're going to put up a well. We're going to put up another well. And we're going to put up another well. And another well. Okay, now we wait. Oh, waiting is people. These right here are little simulated people moving in. See, you just got tense. We're at the birth, the beginning of Rome. Okay, so that's that. Oh, 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 oh. Moving in. And see, it says empty land. And it's a small tent. Five occupants, no tax man has been visited, not paying taxes, resident has reported no crime, tent dwellers supply their own food from a local countryside. Okay, this is what we've got right here. And we got a population of 46, and it's April 340 BC. So we're seeing it as it's growing. Okay, okay, okay. This is level. This is the beginning of Rome's beginning, okay? This is our go this is our training. This is our governorial training. Okay, if I had the voice turned on, we would hear what they're saying in noise, but I don't want to get into any trouble from YouTube for any copyright issues so everything okay this is our first fire to protect against fire build the pre a preface is not available basically what is prefector is what is called the ancient fireman and the people used to go around carrying water to put out a fire the perfector per sends citizens to walk around to look for laborers. Once he walk laborers, once he walks past some housing, the prefector has access. Then it can send prefectors out on patrol. When the perfect, this is what it says, perfect, prefect, when the prefect discovers a fire in the area he'll move and douse the fire with buckets of water you can right click on the rubble and learn what was there before the fire and once it's back to normal patrol the prefect inspects the building on his route for fire hazard reducing the risk of catching fire prefects can provide their service to any building within two spaces of the roads Message, if you hear fanfare, message has arrived for you. Then read the message and click on the message button. Extremely urgent messages like this one are automatically shown to you and 
are also stored with your other messages. If you make a mistake, there is an undo button at the bottom of the control panel. Okay. All right, now we're gonna click on this with the little arrow right here. Okay. Oh, we're done this level. We accept promotion. Yay. All right, accept promotion. Okay, victory. Congratulations. You have grasped the basics to my satisfaction. In the interest of advancing your education, I have one more gentle assignment for you. Onward to run Desium. Okay. Final culture rating zero. Final piece zero. Population 151. Final prosperity rating zero. Final imperial favor 70. Final city funds 4,000. $648, right click to exit. Okay, Brandesium population of 650. Immediate goal, build a granary, fit it with, fill it with wheat. Your priority should be security, housing, food, and water, and in that order. Without housing and food, new immigrants will not move into your city. Build a farm on fertile land Look for the yellow tufts that indicate this. Connect it to the housing with a path. If the housing is too far away, the farm will not get access to labor. Okay, build a granary near the farm and make sure <coughs> that it has access to labor. This is another <coughs> gentle assignment. I have to get a drink. Let me get a drink. I'm dry. I'm thirsty. Okay. When the wheat is ripe, the cat will carry it to the granary. Gradually build the granary will fill up. The fewer empty windows you see, the fuller the granary is. Markets. Build markets at Build a market fairly near your granary. Once it has enough employees, <coughs> it generates market traders <coughs> who walk near the road near the market. One of these traders brings food from the granary back to the market and provides, provided the granary is not too far away, the other traders walk past the houses distributing food. Later on, when your city has warehouses with manufactured goods, these same markets will distribute commodities the same way they handle food. Like this. That is the grocery person. These are the houses. This is the road. And that's where she gets off it. Okay. Let's go to the city. Okay. Now we got a plan for the future of the city. Okay, so we're going to start by building a road. We're going to start right up here. And let's build a road. Right here. Okay, we're going to clear this area. We're going to first start by connecting this road here. Okay, it says it's just got a well. Okay, so the first thing we're going to put up is an engineer's post right here and we're going to put up our fireman which is the I know employees are needed which is right here okay so we're going to start keep in mind when you're building that fire marshals and engineers can't go by more than two on each side so what we're going to do is we're going to take count to four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
but we're going to go five. We're going to show you for a reason that in a minute. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go five this way and five that way. Okay. I'm going to show you why I'm doing five and five in a square. Okay, so we're going to fill these in like this. It's going to say some plots are too far from the road, but we know that. We understand that. Okay, now some more things have opened. We have the road. We have the clear. We have the houses. We have the water. We have the small temple. We have the Senate house, farm, market, granary, for and engineer, our fireman, and our construction dudes. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put a well in here and in here. Okay. While the houses get built to open, what we're doing right here is we're going to clear all this out everywhere and we're going to do this right here and we're going to go down straight here okay now the first thing we're going to do the next thing we're going to do rather is we're going to click on the wheat and build the wheat all right now we need to build a granary. Okay. So let's go up here. We don't want it too far from our settlement. But we want to put up this road here and across here. Now we're going to click down here and open up a granary. We're going to go across here and we're going to click this side right here and we're going to open this up like this. We're going to put an engineer's post right next to the granary and a fireman right there. Okay. Okay, now we need to open these up and see if this is available. Not yet on this assignment and not yet on this assignment. Okay, now we've got a message. Employees needed. Delete. Okay, so now we're going to build a separate second one. One two, three, four, five. Okay. We're building a separate second one. Okay. There we go. Okay. Let's see how six employees, six employees, no employees. Okay. We need to make sure that our dudes are not going to be unhappy. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to open up a temple. And we're going to make it to caress. Okay, she's right here. We need to have our goddesses, okay? We have 10 employees here. Now it's time to do a second farm of wheat. We have to open it, separate it like that, and put the row down the middle. Stop right there. You need to build slowly and gradually. Okay, we're not wide enough. Uh, 
I thought we had five, but we have four. Okay, so let's open our second road. We're making sure it has this. Now we're going to go into the well and put the second well up and add the houses. These wells are just here temporarily. No need for anything more. We need to make sure there's food getting in the granary. Okay, now we're going to go to a market. We're going to open up a market right here. And that's going to be the grocery person. We've got a fire in the city. we got two fires in the city. Now that happens when you've got small tents. Because as you can see, we have two fires up. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a road over here. Okay. We're going to set up another engineer's post. And another fire marshal. I prefer to call them fire marshals. Okay. Now as soon as the fire is put out, we will, you will be able to delete the fire and put houses back on there. But as you build more and more in your city, we've got a big fire. We're going to keep getting messages of fire until our fire marshal gets around to putting it out. See? That's what he's doing right there. See, he's putting out the fire. Then we click on him. Then he can get to the next part of the fire. Click on it again. Click on again, deleting it. Click on it again and again. That way he can get to these fires. We have multiple firemen around till they put out all the fires. See, they're carrying buckets. All right, now we're going to put the houses back. We will later on be able to put blocks up. Okay, Senate, small temple. Nothing new has opened up yet. Okay, we've got to get everybody fed. And you can right click on anything to open it up. We have 400 wheat, 2,000 units are available still. And you want to see what you got. We have 10 employees here. And we can click what the little guys are thinking. Event 2. And we have 10 little guys there. Okay. Now let's put another row of wheat up. There we go. As the ha little sims move in, the townies, let's call them townies. Now this is a priest. This city is so dull, even preaches priest like a gladiator fight from time to time. Okay, that isn't available at ours. And after a hard day's work, I want to see a good show. No chance here yet. See, it shows they want entertainment, but that isn't available in our scenario yet. But those will come as we f advance further in the game. This is called, this is Zeus, no, this is um, not Zeus. This is Caesar 3. This is Caesar 3. Okay. And we still got the wells in there. And it will all be boosted. Okay, well, I'm waiting. I'm going to empty out some of this. Get rid of some of these trees.
Okay. Now, I want to do something to help improve the mood in my cities. So I'm going to open it up with Venus to get a blessing from Venus. Okay. Fire in the city employees needed. We need more employees. Okay, we had another fire over here. That's where our third fire was. And so this is going to go right here. Okay, as you can see, this is here, this is here, and this is going to go down this away. Okay, you can click on them to see what they need. See, and I can't put down a plaza or any gardens because, well, they're not available yet. But we can put up temples. All right, I'm going to put up Mercury. I'm going to put up um, Mercury, the god of trade. Each of these gods do something different to help your city. Okay. Now, we're going to clear this area out completely right here. And so, there's still room for more people to move in. So, we've still got to, like, hold it. And see, the, as you can see, all the houses they said couldn't go past two. But the water is in the middle, so the Sims can get... The, ten, the citizens of Rome can get water from this well and that well and that well and that well. So we've got four wells. Now, see it's not available yet. Okay, so the granary has 200 wheat. Well, she's going around providing food. Let's see how much food she carries. I've never seen so many buildings needing workers. See? So we've now got three. As more townies move in, we'll have more workers. We just got to wait it out slowly. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Okay, so we're going to add the Senate. The Senate will improve the good looks of the areas. See, this is unemployment, 0%. Cultural rating, prosperity, peace, and favor. This will tell you the information that this would tell you, the advisors. So that will help. And that will help with the appearance as, see, it will upgrade the buildings. When we can get put down a plaza and we can get statues, we can make the buildings more pretty. So let's see how the food is doing. Mm-hmm. See? There's room for 24 more people in there. So the more we go, the more happiness there is. That's a road. Citizen, this place needs more workers. Okay. You can click on it to see how much food you've got in there. I'm going to go lower. A blessing from Cress. Charmed by the attention your city pays her. Boost your facility by growing crops. See? Now all the crops are 100%. And that will give us an east instant influx of food. And that's always good. We have 400 wheat in there. And right now that's all we're growing. 
and it's going to bring the food over here. We've got to wait for more people to move in. Okay. That was a beautiful blessing from our caress. All right, now we have 172 people in here. So we go up to the next level. Well done. Your farms are up and running and your people have food. Now it's time to expand your settlement. Water, build a reservoir adjacent to the water. Fill it with water, advise your label advisor has allocated enough workers for that. Build fountains for service for the water and providing water like that. To manage your city. Okay. Now let's see. Oh, see it's not available yet. Okay. We are going to provide water, so that means we are going to be deleting this, and this, and this, and this. Okay. <coughs> Sorry about that, I'm thirsty. Very dry. Okay. Now we're built. You want to build it right near. See, right near the water. And I'll give it a minute to fill up with water. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna build what's called an aqueduct. So, for that, we gotta clear out the trees. And we want to clear out behind this city. Okay, so we're going to build an aqueduct. We're going to connect it. And the aqueduct is going to take the water right where, everywhere we want it to go. Just like the ancient Romans is going to do. So we're going to put the aqueduct right here, the reservoir there, and we're going to connect it to the aqueduct. And then we're going to put in flowers, okay, because our city is growing, okay. So we're going to put in a fountain right here. And in the middle there, we're going to put gardens in here. <coughs> <coughs> so we're going to see what else is available. Okay. Now we're going to put a fountain over here and a fountain over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to clear this area right here and we're going to put in an aqueduct and see if it's close enough. Yep. So we're going to clear over here. And we're going to clear across here. Okay. So we're going to get the aqueduct across here. You want to make sure that it's within an area where it's going to get water. Okay. So we're going to put the water right here connected 
to the aqueduct. Okay. Okay, now we're going to put up another market. And another market. We want to make sure that all of our people get plenty to eat. That is the most, what we are trying to do now is to make sure they have food and water. They have security and now we've got to get the food and the water to all of the people living there. And see, we have 1,200 units of food available. We're making enough food to feed the people. Okay, as you can see, now we are available here. So we're going to hold a festival to Chris. Okay. This, we have unemployment. And we have six months supply and people are coming. And we got a tax rate of 43%. And Chris, Neptune, and Mars is angry because, well... They can't do anything to us at this point. Mars is a god of war. We don't have any troops yet. Neptune is a god of the sea. We don't have any boats. And we don't have anybody coming in at this point. Theaters are none. Schools and children and health. Okay. See, we've got to get BAP. We've got to get all this stuff done. One variety of food is eaten. Okay, and we have culture of 9%, prosperity of 5, piece of 2, target population is 650, favor is 70, and we have 15 people that are unemployed. Okay, so you know what that means. We want to make, put up Bass House. So that way, the health of our people is a concern. The Romans are known for being clean people, okay? So we've got a bathhouse there. And we want to wait for it to have... bathhouse is operational and local community are clean and relaxed okay we've got water there and the guy says the gods are unhappy okay so we're gonna add we're gonna put Neptune up we need to clear this out. There we go. So we are going to put Neptune right up here. Okay. And we're going to get an actor colony over here. We're going to clean this out here. And we're going to put an actor. This is a school like an actor's culture right there. Okay. And we're still going on. Okay. Because we are going to get entertainment here we have a theater colony right here they want entertainment so we are doing that we do have gardens and a 
Engineer School and Gardens and Engineer Post. Let's see what we've got over here. Okay, we've got a festival to caress. All right, let's do the next festival. We are going to hold it up to Neptune. 93% of the people is registering for tax now. And we've got to get a temple up for Mars. Okay, he is next. Very well. We're going to make sure there's a road there. Okay. This no food in there so you know what that means our population is growing so we need a fourth one of meat all right now we've got to clear this sector no 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 Okay, I accidentally deleted the reservoir. We gotta put it back. That's an easy thing. Okay, now we're gonna go down here to farm. Okay. Okay, taxes and industry. Okay, build money, money buildings, running costs money. Rome gives you enough dinero to get started, but it won't be enough to complete this assignment. Taxes are important. This dude collects taxes. Nicer houses pays more taxes. Advisors. We now have advisors, and we're going to be able to make pottery like this. Okay. So, raw materials, we're going to go into raw materials, clay. Okay, workshop, pottery. And where we're stretching this way, we need an engineer's post, and we need a fire marshal. See, we now have warehouses, granaries, markets, farm materials, stuff like this. Okay, now, we need to separate this like this. Pull the road this way. Do some more clearance. All right, we're gonna put up a warehouse. Special orders not accepting. Okay, we're gonna keep accepting clay and pottery, but don't need to accept any meat, any food. As you see what's new, you're changing it. Okay, we're going to go into the excitement now. Going to go into the cement. All right. Mercury, Mars. Okay, Mars is the only one not happy. Probably because we were the last one. 
to put up for him. Okay. Now let's see what's going on here. Our granary is empty. So we're not making enough food. So we are going to open another wheat. We want to keep an eye on the food to make sure everybody has enough to eat. Okay. Hold the new festival. We will do it for Mercury. Eventually, as the game continues on, see, we now have an engineering post fully staffed. We have our fire marshal fully staffed. The pottery workshop don't have any employees yet, but they are bringing clay out. That's a definite move in the right direction. And I want uh, a large festival and population. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Our food levels are low. Lack of housing prevents immigration. Okay. So we need to go one more. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Cutting across here. Okay, let's put another fountain here. Okay. All right. When these open up like this, we're going to put two more gardens there. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right. It's we are getting there closer our target population is 650 and we're at 536. We do have gardens nearby, and they are trying to make their place better. Okay, we need to get a school up. Chil Rome was very strong in educating their children. Okay, the populate the unemployed population is going down as we make more. So we want to send a gift to our city. We have favor of 73 with Roe, peace 4, prosperity 3, and culture 48. And there's no food. Overall, people are leaving your city. Nobody wants to live in your city. There's no request for health facilities at this point. There will be a hundred as we check back here we will see how the school age is 108 we just put a school up they don't know it yet but we do have one theater up and all the gauze are charmed and we're 
see his for his um the tax our assets this share has fallen by 50 dinero poor mood in the pay people are extremely food with you all needs are met for religion no problems in education city health is average no problems reported we have no reported threats we produce much more than we eat, and that's good. All right. As we can see, our housing situation is improving. And we are working on it. They will get that situation under control over here. The f food. One unit. Okay, I want to increase. Our raw material situation. because I haven't done so, and so I want to improve that. Okay, we just had a festival. Time for another festival. All our gods are, all of our gods are happy. Okay, the god of war was here. Okay, that's when it says the last festival is, and we are doing it. We are doing it. We're getting closer to winning this scenario. When you click on people and things, you can see what they need, and we can ask them. That's the road. So I want to click on the house. A large hovel, a nearby building is having a detrimental effect. Desirability on this desirable location. Try placing it as well. That stuff isn't available. Everybody keeps saying put down that we could if we could. All right, we want to put up one forum somewhere. Okay, I'm going to put it up right there. I don't want to put it directly on there because the people will say, that undesirable house is too near. That wasn't what I wanted. Well, that's what we cooked. So but I didn't want to eat all this fattening food. I wanted just, just a salad and, and a meat. Okay, honey, I'll eat it, but thank you, dear. A blessing. Happy at your interest in him. Neptune grants all the traders smooth passage for the rest of the year. Well, after I'm done this level, I'm going to shut it off. You remember how to stop recording, right? You push that button, right? Yep. Right, and then I want you to show me how I get it in my laptop after. This is our first attempt at it. Trade with, we now have trade with the Empire. So let's see what else we've got. Gardens and engineers. And let's see what else we've got. A small temple, a bath, the theater colony. Okay, let's put up a second theater. A school, an aqueduct, a bath, small temple. It says we've got trade, but I can't find the dock. Okay. Let's see if we need a dock. Okay. You go. 
let's go back out of this okay you click on this right here it says go to the map of the empire and the red ones you can't okay this red one here we need 400 denarii to open a trade route and the goods will flow and then that is a roman city so the red ones you can open the blue ones you cannot that's a distant city you can't so you go in here with this what looks like the strawberry and we could trade but at this point we don't want to trade anything until we make more pottery and things like that we're not in a position to trade exporting we're going to put exporting over 10 units with the pottery okay some citizen complains about insufficient recreational facility we are working on building the city it takes time and i'm gonna eat some of my food let's see what this says okay this doesn't have access to water this needs a supply of food okay we're gonna put up another market and we will see what happens except promotion okay we've got the 650 people in there but it says 647 caesar has promoted you up in rank except promotion victory you are a quick learner you now have the skills to complete a real assignment from now on you can choose your caesar direction take more take the more peaceful providence to concentrate on governing or the more dangerous one to confront rome's enemy okay our final cultural rating is 46 peace 4 final property 651 final prosperity rating 3 final imperial favor 73 final city funds 18,268 right click to exit okay we get now into this next this is our third assignment we are at 350 bc click on your choice of cities a peaceful providence or a slightly dangerous this first time around let's do peaceful we'll do the war next time around next time um when we play the game again okay so we're going to go into our third providence okay we are in capua population objectives population 2500 okay we're going to do this we're going to read all this on the next save we're going to get uh, go to the city to get a save file save game my rome we're saving under my rome and check to proceed okay we're going to exit the game Thank you for...